Sacramento's Major League moment, the A's announcing the temporary move to Sacramento, in case you haven't heard, for at least the next three seasons. Lots of excitement here tonight. Mm -hmm. We're taking a look into the city's sports history because it's not the first time the baseball team thought about playing in the capital city. CBS 13's Kayla Muller has a timeline for us. Kayla. That's right. Sacramento even went as far as starting to build a ballpark in Natomas, a $16 million dream in the 80s. It never came to fruition, and now it sits abandoned and overtaken by nature. Our, our job now is to make the A's sit here and go, man, we should have came here first. And they almost did come here. Back in the 1980s, Arco Park's construction was well underway. Sacramento trying to lure Oakland sports teams to the capital city. We built the entire foundation, which would be the, you know, the dugout, the operations, the kitchens, all that kind of stuff underneath the storage, from foul pole around home plate to foul pole. We spoke with Greg Van Dusen a few years back about the project. Is it he that played long? a key That's role easy. in the grand ideas for building a ballpark and football stadium that would be connected to Arco Arena by an underground tunnel. The football field would have run this way, parallel with this line here, the foul line. I got to be honest, I didn't even realize they spent 16 million on that. When you think about 16 million back then, I mean, that's, that's staggering. But the money went dry and the project was abandoned. We just weren't going to get it done. This was even supposed to be the parking lot for fans. Now totally overgrown by weeds, some as tall as I am. I'm here today with my $1,000 check. Fans eager to shell out money for season tickets. Tickets they'd never see. The bones of the site still remain. Even a pond now in place of the diamond. Turkeys roaming the hills where fans should have been cheering. Now in a full circle moment, the A's moving into Sutter Health Park. And hopefully it'll lead to a permanent team over here. It's now been four decades to make this dream come true, and right now only temporarily. But could this be the start of something more permanent? I mean, the foundation's already there. They'll just have to dig through Mother Nature's hold.